Welcome to this video on how to add attachments from Airtable into Google Drive automatically. So guys, Airtable is a database management tool and Google Drive is a cloud based storage. So here I'm going to show you an automation technique which is going to integrate Airtable and Google Drive in such a way that whenever you add any attachment in Airtable's base, the same attachment will be added into a folder in Google Drive automatically, saving your time and manual efforts, and you can streamline your database management process. And we are going to set up this automation just by a few clicks without any coding. So without any further ado, let's begin. So we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation. So Pabli Connect is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page. I'm going to paste this link in the description so that you can sign up for free and get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So guys, you can just sign up right now, then sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So guys, this is my Airtable's base in which I'm adding some details about some files and these are the attachments okay and i want that whenever i attach files here the same files should be added inside a folder here in google drive so this is my google drive this is a folder named as new test okay now here is the dashboard of Pavli connect from here click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So let us give a name here. So I have given the name uh, uh, to this workflow as a table Google Drive integration. And then I clicked on create button. And here you can see this is the workflow page. And here we have these two modules, the trigger and the action. So these are the basic building blocks of this automation. Trigger is that event which is going to start the workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. In our use case guys, uh, adding attachment in Airtable's base is going to trigger the workflow and the action would be to add the same attachment in Google Drive. So here guys you have to choose Airtable as the trigger application. Then you have to select the trigger event as new record then click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the token or the access key of a table so you'll get this key from the developer hub section of a table so, so this is my a tables uh, application and here you can see on the top right corner we have this profile icon under the profile icon you will find this developer hub option click on developer hub and under this personal access token uh, page, you can click on create new token and here you can create a access token. So here I'm going to give a name to this token as test token. Okay. And here it is asking for the scopes. So click on add a scope and here you have to select all the scopes. This means the conditions when this uh, access token is going to share the data with our workflow. Okay. So here select data dot record read, then click on add a scope and then select data record comments read. Then come here on this data record write, comment write, then schema based read, schema based write, and finally webhook colon manage okay these are the scopes that you have to add then you have to add a base select a base so click on select a base option and from here click on all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces okay this option you can read in the instructions as well all workspaces you have to select so we have selected all workspaces right now you can click on create token button and your access token will be generated like this. You just have to copy it. Then you have to paste it here like this and you have to click on save and you will be connected with a table. Now you can click on done here. Okay. And here you can see guys, we are now connected with a table and here it is asking you to select the projects or the basis name. So the name of my base here, let me show you. 
okay so this was my base named as project pably okay so i'm going to select project pably here so i have selected the base's name okay and then it is asking for the table so my table's name is table 1 it is selected and here it is asking for the trigger field so guys in every base that you create here in a table and if you want to integrate the base inside any workflow in pably connect you must have a trigger field here in your base so what is a trigger field trigger field is a created time uh, created time type field okay that you have to add like this let me show you you can see i have three columns here first column is for the name of the file second is for attachments and the third column is this and here you can see the type of the column okay so the type of the column is created time column okay or field so here you can give any name to this field then you have to select the type as created time and then click on save so this field is going to uh, capture the date and time of the entry of the data that you have entered in the table okay and this field is going to trigger our workflow so you must have this field when you want to integrate this base here so i am selecting the trigger field then you can read so according to the instructions i have added the field and now we have save and send test request button by clicking on it you can get or collect the data from your table to here in your workflow so i have already added these attachments here the name of the file is this material and here in this attachment field i have two attachments one is a one is a png file and other is a pdf pro, a pdf type file okay right let's capture this test data here i am clicking on save and send test request button and i forgot to tell you one thing more before clicking on this button you have to toggle this simple response button to off why we are doing this i'll tell you first uh, uh, and uh, if, if you do not toggle this off this is how you are going to receive the data you can see in these labels and here we have received uh, these file names okay you can see the file names okay and here you can see the links of the files as well okay now let me click on save and send test request again after toggling this simple response button to off okay so i have clicked on it again and now you can see we have received the file name here like this that i have entered and here you can see an array we have received here in which we have the details of the attachments in a array of data format so why i have get why i have captured the data in this array format because here we are attaching multiple files of different types in the same cell okay so when you are adding multiple files in the same cell you must capture this data in array format so that we can apply a feature here in the action step which is called iterator and iterator is going to segregate the links and the data of the files one by one and make this workflow run one by one for each and every attachment okay that's why we have captured the data like this now in this action step we are going to use iterator here you can see iterator okay then you have to select the array which is going to be iterated by pably here you can see we have received the array here in the fields attachment label i am going to map this label here or, or select this label here okay now click on save and send test request button and here you can see guys we have received the data of a file here you can see the width the height the url of the file the file's name okay so it is showing us the name of one file the first file which was in png format okay and we do not have the data of other file so this is how iterator is going to work for the first file then for the second and so on okay now guys i want to add this file here in my google drive okay like this let me just empty this folder okay now the folder is empty and here i have added another action step by clicking on this plus sign and here i am going to connect with google drive select google drive here you have to select the action event as upload a file here you will find upload a file option select it then click on connect button from here select add new connection and then click on sign in with google and from here you have to select the google account in which you want to save the file okay select that account then you have to select 
So then you have to provide some additional access to your Google account. Just click on continue from here. That is completely safe and you will be connected with your Google account. And here you can select uh, here. You can uh, add the URL that you want to save in your Google Drive folder. Here you have to enter the folders ID and the files name. So guys, I have received the URL in the first steps. Okay, then I have iterated the data here in the second step and here I got the URL of the first file in this URL label. So for, from the second step only I'm going to map the URL here in this field. So you just have to click here and the previous steps will appear in the drop down and from the second step map the URL like this. Okay. And here it is asking for the folder ID. So guys for this, you can read in the instructions, you have to open your Google Drive folder. And in the top search bar in this URL, after this folder slash, you will find a string of alphabets and in integers. These this is actually the folder ID, you just have to copy it. And you have to paste it here in this folder ID field like this. Alright, and here it is asking for the asking for the files name. So you just have to click here and from the second step, you can map the file name. Okay, so where is the file name? Here is the file name you can see in the file name label map it. Then you can check your connection with Google Drive by clicking on save and send test request button and this file will be added here in this folder. Let me show you. I am clicking on save and send test request button. This is the response we got. Let us see in my drive if we got the data. And here you can see we have received the file here. So and this is the same file that I had here inside my uh, a table space. Okay, and this is the same file got added here. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that you do not have to do anything manually in this workflow. It will work in the background silently and in real time whenever you are going to add any multiple attachments in your Airtable space, all the data from the attachments will be added here in your Google Drive automatically so that you can have a backup of your attachments for the future reference. Okay. So you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the rate You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link. And you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing. And guys, if you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.